Tesla Cybertruck will receive a 154 miles charging improvement in an upcoming update. Welcome back everyone. Former Tesla Vice President of Powertrain and Energy, Drew Baglino, many of you remember him, previously had mentioned that Cybertruck would be receiving charging improvements soon. Wes Morrill, Tesla Cybertruck's lead engineer, recently reposted Baglino's comments on the charge speed update on June 16, just a few days ago, and mentioned that it would be coming soon via the over-the-air updates, OTA. The 46AD battery cell has seen some difficulties in its charging curve, similar to Tesla's other vehicles that have been deployed with the 4680 battery. Tesla has alluded to difficulties in the manufacturing curve previously and also with engineering improvements to the new cell standard and eventually stopped manufacturing the Model Y with the 4680 batteries, battery cells. I don't know if many of you knew about this. Anyway, however, this is the first time that Tesla has began to deploy major improvements to the 4680 battery cell. It appears the improvements will allow up to 154 miles to be recovered, charged in 15 minutes, which is approximately 30% improvement to current charge rates of Tesla Cybertruck. We're hoping that these improvements to the 4680 battery cell will also translate to older Model Y vehicles that have 4680 cells, which will be key to the owners of these vehicles. 4680 production is currently mainly focused on Powerwall, Megapack, and Cybertruck, with Semi not using 4680 yet. For reference, the Hammer electric vehicle, GM's Hammer, which can charge at 350 kilowatt has a claimed 100 miles charge in 10 minutes. Unsurprisingly, GM makes the same claim for the Silverado EV. The Cybertruck can't match that peak charging power, being mainly limited by the V3 supercharger's max output of 250 kilowatt, but it is perhaps more efficient and converting electricity into roadway miles. When I was doing the research for this article, I noticed, actually for this report, I noticed that one of the guys on Reddit asking, so did Tesla roll the truck of the assembly line with real uh, world battery validation needing to happen? Seems like they are almost monitoring and slowly improving charging for this vehicle? Well, friends, they do this for literally every vehicle in the fleet. There are always new optimizations being found and implemented. This is why I always recommend my friends to be patient when you see an exciting new vehicle and wait for at least the second year edition of that vehicle to buy it if you need a new car. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you like this report, please give us thumbs up. And let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Let's have a discussion in the comment section below. And if you have a Model Y, uh, which is running at 4680 battery, please let me know how you feel about charging. And are you have you heard anything that Tesla will make an improvement on that as well? God bless you, everyone. See you soon in our next report.